All right, guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna work on our birdhouse again and do some laying out so we know how much material we need to get. Go ahead and click on your internet browser, pull up your favorites, go to SketchUp, and it should load. And if you saved everything right, your birdhouse project should be saved right in here somewhere. Click on it. All right. So today, we are going to figure out how much wood we need to make this birdhouse. So a typical one by six is eight feet long and five and a half inches wide. So we're gonna hit R for rectangle. We are going to go uh, let's see, eight feet, eight apostrophe, comma, five, space bar, one, forward slash, two, enter. All right. I zoomed out. This should be how long a one by six is. So now I'm going to make this a component. I'm going to highlight everything. You might have to orbit around your shape a little bit so you can get everything highlighted. Hit G on the keyboard. I'm just going to put board. B-O-A-R-D. Okay. I'm going to leave it just like that. Now, what I'm going to do is zoom into the birdhouse. So there. Highlight everything. So click somewhere to the left-hand side of your shape. Make sure you hold the button down and drag it to the right and cover the whole birdhouse with your rectangle or square, whatever your shape you made right here. Um, everything should turn blue. You're gonna hit M on your keyboard and you're going to hit the copy tool. Whatever it says, oops, I moved it. I don't wanna move it. So whatever it says down here to make a copy, the toggle copy, that's what button you're gonna hit. Hold that button down, click. I didn't want to rotate. M. Click. Hold the hold. You're holding your button and clicking and dragging it off to the right hand side. Okay. Hit spacebar. Come out of that. Now. We're gonna take the birdhouse apart and put on to this board right here. So hit the M tool. We're gonna move this over here. Zoom in a little bit. Go to the one of the crosses, make it flat, turn it green. Okay, orbit until you can see the back edge of the board and take it down to zoom in, take it to the edge of your board. Okay, zoom out, get the next piece. There we go next piece and just keep stacking them on there if they're angled you just have to get to one of the crosses and turn it to the green line and then get the back corner and keep doing that okay so we'll get this one bring it forward now we got to rotate this one a different direction We want it to turn red, click. Again, bottom corner. You might have to zoom in and make it line up. Zoom out. Grab the next one. Do the same thing. Bring it down. Turn the line to the red. Zoom in. Click this. Bring it down. This one's a little bit harder. Bring it down to the line. Zoom in. There you go. Now it should be on this line. And then just drag it over till they touch. Zoom out. Next big one. Bring it over. Click on one of the side crosses, 
drop it down until it turns to red line. Click the button. Zoom in. Okay. Until they touch. You can get them closer if you want. Get them as close as possible. And then two more. Bring this one. Oh, don't want to rotate it. Bring this over. I'm going to bring this one over too. So they're both over here. Rotate. Zoom in to the edge. Click on across. Flatten it out towards the green. Zoom out. Get this one flat too. Zoom in. Click on across. Touch the green. Orbit to the side. Hit the M tool again. Bottom right hand corner. Zoom in. And attach. Zoom out. Click the bottom right hand corner of this one. Bring it down. Perfect. All right. You zoom out of this. Get your tape measure. Go from this end all the way up here. And you'll know you'll need about five feet, three and five sixteenth inch of the board. Okay. Um, there's one thing you want to take into consideration. I always give it an extra two inches for uh, the kerf of the the thickness of the the saw that we're going to use. So I always add on like two more inches. So I'll just say five foot ten inches as to how big of a board we need. Okay. So that's how you would lay it out. Now we know we have to go buy one two or one by six and it has to be at least five foot ten inches long okay so that's how you would lay out your board so you can get ready to cut go ahead and go up to save it's saving once it's saved you can go ahead and exit and that is it for this video. I will hit you guys up next week. Robert, out.